Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new so far. We are jumping in again and we are going to go for a run as... Who did we play as last time? Was it Eden we did last time? Um, we're going to go as a run as Job and see what we've got to do as him. It's been a little while. I don't think we've got much left to do as Job. Yeah, so we've got um, Mega Satan and Delirium. So kind of, it's kind of a weird one to go for straight off the bat because they're two kind of bosses that are a little hard to just straight up go for. But we'll give it a go. Oh, do not slap me, sir. Do not slap me. Little hand, little hand. I kind of like the idea of this room just pushing all of those guys into there. Extra soul heart there is quite nice. And then I really, really do like the fact that this character's got the book. In fact, this character's just a lot of fun. It's super, super vanilla. But I just love the idea of a character with low damage, high fire rate off the bat. Because so many things synergize with really high fire rate. And that it just makes it really fun to have. There's so many different tier effects that you can uh, proc more often when your fire rate's higher. And yeah, this, his book allows him to go over the maximum, which is really nice. I mean, starting at 4.29 is already kind of insane. I don't think there's any character that comes close to starting that high up. Okay. Certainly not a fan of this room. Okay, good. I, I was going to say, if I, I, if I could just push him onto the spikes, I might be able to just kill him there and then. But I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Luckily, it did work just fine. It worked just fine. Some hearts there. I'm cool, thank you. Right, let's go, let's go. Do feel a little bit off today, I've got to say. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I just, I, I ate a lot of food yesterday, maybe it's that. <laughs> but I eat a lot of food every day. I don't know. Ooh, what we got here? Opens Mega Satan Doll regardless whether you have the key pieces. Improves payout of Alabaster Box regardless. I mean, that's it's, it's pretty it's pretty useful for the situation that we're going for right now. If we for some reason don't manage to get our key pieces then we at least still have entry to the Mega Certain door. That's uh, that's kind of useful. That's kind of useful. So now we don't have to really heavily worry. By the way, I realize the boss is better spent with our active here. I really don't like these enemies, so I'm just going to do this. Um, yeah, I realize it could be better spent um, on our boss. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to say getting the Mega Certain key there. Very, very nice. We'll see what we've got in our item room. Ooh, Ultra Flesh Kid. I really like Ultra Flesh Kid. You can actually take that heart right there. Suck it up, fella. Yeah, once we get him to max, he, he becomes quite the quite the little chad. I like him quite a lot. Right, you grab that. He's doing that weird thing, though, where um, every time he enters the room, he, like, respawns. I'm not sure what that's about. See that little puff? So it's, it's a weird bug with some familiars that are, like, coded incorrectly. I don't know exactly how it works, but that's seemingly how it works. Okay. He is doing bits right now. Holy shit. He's only level 1 and he's already an absolute G. My god, I love him. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, what have you asked for for Christmas? And if you haven't asked, what are you gifting for Christmas? Some HP there, very nice. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Okay, let's see what we can get done here. Hopefully we can keep this run chugging along. Uh, I really want to get Ultra Flesh Kid really heavily ranked up. Getting him as your first item is pretty amazing. I mean, you can already see that he's like, like I said, he's kind of insane. And also his tracking is, is actually pretty good. He's going to go for enemies that are across the room rather than just sitting there like a little idiot. Like a lot of familiars tend to do nowadays. I don't know what that's about, but this guy seems to have some pretty good tracking on him, which is unexpected, but lovely. Okay, this is going to be a hard room, so... We're going to let um, our Flesh Kid deal with almost all of this for us. Okay, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but anyways. Flesh Kid, we're going to let you deal with the majority of the flies, and we'll take out the real enemies. You can just keep on keeping on in your little cluster over there. I like it. But yeah, I've got to record quite a few videos today. As I said, preparing for the Christmas break means uh, lots and lots of recording to be done. I do enjoy these days. It's, they can be a little tiring in terms of, like, obviously doing a lot of commentary. But uh, it is fun to just, like, sit and play a bunch of Isaac. <laughs> it is nice. Uh, the, the, only, the biggest problem with doing days like this is just question of the day. I've got to come up with, like, four in a day, and it, it, it's difficult, man. There's a reason that I only do question of the day on Isaac and not my other series, because it would just be too difficult to think of so many of them. Item room here. Ooh. Very, very nice. I love X-ray vision. Um... Go check back over here for second secret room. Nah. Yeah, really, really like extra vision. We've got quite a few items that I very, very, very much like at the moment, so I'm happy. I'm a happy chappy. Right. 
We are going to burn those guys. That's kind of interesting. I like these rooms that are designed specifically to, like, set these guys alight. Especially now that these enemies are actually different. Like, the fire versions of these guys before just had no uniqueness to them at all. But now, with the uh, rework first mod, they actually do have quite a bit of difference between them. Um, so, then setting them on fire is, like, actually a legitimate risk that you've got to sort of think about and try and play around. I mean, obviously, it doesn't make them a lot harder, but it does make them harder. Chests there, nice. You grab all those hearts, my ladder. I can't remember how many he needs for his next level. Um, ooh, that's a good item. We'll see if we can uh, see if we can get the money for that, but I doubt it. We could buy my donation machine, actually. I don't know if, if we have one. I didn't check thoroughly enough. Okay, these guys could be a bit annoying. We can't, unfortunately, push them into the fire to deal damage. It would be nice if we could, but we can't. Yeah, see if we get enough money first, but then I might bomb my donation machine. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Unfortunately, this guy can't pick up the um, the rotten hearts. I was hoping he could, but doesn't look like that's the case. Right, extra penny there. We need a nickel now from one of the rooms, but don't know if we're going to get that. But yeah, all the extra damage we're going to get from all these flies is super, super nice. Puts us in a very favorable spot for just dealing good damage. Right, boss time. A little annoying that the um, little enemies there ate up all of my flies. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. Can you attach to him? Thank you. Dude, the damage he does is insane. Oh, we got something new here. Okay. Look up spawns four rainbow pennies. Rainbow pennies activate their effects of corresponding trinkets on pickup. Nice. Hey, we got a counterfeit penny there. And we got enough money. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. I like that. Right, now we can buy this, which is very, very good. And we can keep on keeping on and go to our next floor. Come on, Flesh Kid. It's time for you to shine. Be the shining star that I want you to be. And what else are we trying to do as well? Delirium. Delirium's always a weird one where you've got to do Hush, and, uh, Mega Satan and Delirium. Because it's like, it's like a 50-50 of whether you can do both. And it's not always going to pan out, which is annoying. But now we have all these flies... But um, we're also be going to be gaining quite a few bees as well. Uh, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the way that that room was panning out there. Oh, th those dudes are so annoying. <laughs> they don't just die. They have to have their eye frames. Uh, I should have just let Ultra Flesh Kid take care of them and step, step back a little bit, but it's not always the easiest. For some reason, Flesh Kid is now having a really hard time finding enemies, which is weird. Like, look at this. He's, he's just stuck on this guy in the middle. Bit of a shame. I will bomb for this, because we don't need bombs for secret rooms at the moment, so a key is far more valuable to us. Good stuff. Yeah, I going to say, we've got kind of a fly and bee-centric run here, and I, I quite like that. Okay, in here, ooh, ooh, more glasses to put on our face. Don't mind if I diddly do. Beautiful stuff. This is a very, very good run thus far. Yeah, get out of here, Crab Claw. I'm really liking this. The only thing at the minute is our flies and bees don't do a lot of damage because we don't have a lot of damage. It's not the end of the world. Oh, there's our shop. Secret room is going to hold one of these batteries. Which gives us the sparklies. I like the sparklies. Okay, we've got another crab boy here, which I didn't actually see where he went, I'll be honest. I'm completely confused. Oh, there he is, there he is. I didn't even see that claw, I just heard it. I'm just going to keep moving and hope for the best here. Can you just... There you go. Pop up like you know you should. And then you are coming around this way. Unfortunately, we've not really been getting a lot of red heart drops that we can give to our um, our little friend here, which is a bit of a shame. Really hoping we'd be getting a lot more red heart drops. We've just been getting pennies after room clears. That's a second secret room. Good stuff. Oh, I forgot about you guys. How do I always forget they do that? So at the minute, we are at risk of losing our uh, angel deal chance, so let's be a little more cautious if we can. Hoping for a half soul heart there, but didn't get it. Hey, quite a lot of money there, though. Once per room taking damage at or below half a heart activates Book of the Dead. I don't think we need that right now. We'll take this. I'll quickly go check out my shop. Hope for a soul heart, to be honest, more than anything. Uh, but with our rotten hearts, I'm really not looking to get hit at all at the moment, so I'm hoping we don't. And um, I'll also do this as well. That isn't what I meant to do. Ooh, we entered this room that ended up... This is kind of an interesting room here. Um, 
If we if we play this right, we can actually Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Don't don't bees don't attack him. Hey, look at that beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Very cool room design that. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay. Managed to get ourselves some more HP, which is really nice. And then we'll go sh see what our shop has to offer. Hopefully something beautiful. Uh, it does have a soul heart. Very nice. I don't really care about the goblin bag or whatever it's called. Um, not particularly interested in that. Oh, I forgot about the bomb. I forgot that I'd never gone off. <laughs> Oops. Right. We've got the little fireworks coming out to get this guy. Unfortunately, we are just going to get Cuba meat here. So, do you know what? I'll probably D6 this. I don't know. Is it worth D6ing? Maybe not. Maybe it's worth saving it for an angel deal. Oh, that was a good hit, sir. Yeah, I'll save it for an angel deal. Just in case. Because I can, um... I, technically, at the moment, I can reroll my key pieces if I wish. Because uh, I, I just... I don't need them. Um, if I've got this trinket... If, as long as I keep this trinket, I don't need my key pieces, so... I'm more tempted to just reroll a key piece uh, into a potentially better item than uh, sticking with it. And actually getting the key piece legitimate. Just, just to be able to change trinket. Because there isn't a ton of trinkets that I'd switch for this. There's obviously some that would be amazing. And I'm sure they'll show up to spite me on this run. But um, at the moment I'm not looking sort of for those. Good. good. Got whetstone there. Okay, he finally, finally ate something good. What I would like right now is a damage up. I mean, a damage is absolutely fine with all the stuff we've got going on. But it would be nice to get a damage up just to make our bees and um, flies a little, a little better. Plenty of keys to go around. We've got obviously enough money to buy from our next shop as well here. Good stuff. I'll pop this, why not? So kind of difficult with this with a book with three charges to know when best to pop it. When best to use it. Eh, I could take the strength card with me or I could just keep on holding on to this to know... I've got it for when I want to use it and don't have to backtrack or forget it. Because you know I will. I'm, I'm bad with stuff like that. People have seen me do it many times. Okay, Flesh Kid. Another half of you. He's got to be like one or two off of leveling up at this point. I would imagine. Go, my bee friends. Having 20-20 um, plus all this fire rate is making our um, bee percent chance pretty high. We are getting many bees. And I like that. Lovely. We need, um, what we really need is like little Chad or something to pair with this guy. Imagine little Chad dropping all, dropping all those half hearts so that he can then eat them up. Goodbye. Ooh, burn heart, nice. We will need the next red heart that appears now though. You can do your thing because there's no more, uh, there's no more poops for you to jump on, so you can just sail, sail away. Um, that is a lucky penny, actually. Uh, okay. Well, car battery's fantastic. Take that. And I'll do that. Double lucky penny. Bit of a waste of uh, a soul heart purchase there, but hey her. What's done is done. I was hoping I could buy a red heart in that shop and it just wasn't available, so... Right, what have you got for us? Ooh, another, to be fair, as much as I'm not a huge fan of this, obviously because we don't need it, um, actually, I don't know. This is, this is difficult. Also, Book of Despair from Isaac Reshaken is just a complete and utter lie. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. One second, let me see. That was a big sneeze. Okay, I'm not actually sure because with, with, uh, car battery, this is really good. Like, we get to keep the base fire up we have right now and up our damage by quite a bit. I think this is actually better. And also, I don't have to sort of have the mental thingy to think when do I, when's best to use this. I just use it when it's ready. Hey, there you go. Flesh Kid has upgraded. So now he'll actually spew out tears as he's uh, chasing down enemies. But yeah, the amount of damage we can get out of this is, is a lot higher. Obviously, it's diminishing returns, but considering we get to use it twice every time we use it, it means the damage will stack up a lot quicker. Yeah, this is going to be really good. Oh, <laughs> Flesh Kid. I, I realized that I should have taken one of those. Because um, I am looking for... Uh, what's it called? I am looking to fill up this burn heart. But 
that was just too good of an opportunity to get him uh, bolstered with uh, quite quite a lot of good stuff for him. Oh yeah, this this book is definitely the right choice right now. This book is very good for us. We've got our angel deal, lovely. Um, we'll see if we want to take that. Ooh, this is this is tricky. This is tricky. I I like the Star of Bethlehem, but I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan of it because it just moves so slow. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bomb you and reroll everything and hope for some better stuff. Which is a pretty big gamble, I realize. Well, we've already got something good there. But we got Furton, which... No, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll take... Wait, this is tricky. This is tricky. Obviously, Holy Mantle's by far the best choice here. Star of Bethlehem's really good, though, and would contribute interestingly to our whole fly thing we've got going on. Um, and then Furton. Do we want to take Furton? It is plus damage. Hmm. This is b between these two, so we definitely take Furton. Between these two, it's tricky. I don't know which one of these two is better. Holy Mantle's super good for protection. Like, basically guarantees a win. But this is so much damage. I think we're going to have to take Holy Mantle. I think it's just too good not to. But that, that that's definitely a tricky choice. Um, right. We've not, we're have not we not time-based here, so let's head on back and go to our care room real quick. Let's head on back now, y'all. It's a little bit of a long journey. We've not got great speed or anything, so it's going to take us a little bit of time. But yeah, I think this is good. We'll do some of the extra rooms we've got here to recharge our book as well. Oh, we've got a mini boss back there as well. Nice. Yeah, Photon's one of the, one of the ones that I find a bit odd. Sometimes it can be a bit of a detriment to you, um, but it does give you a damage up. So I think overall, kind of necessary. I mean, up to five point four three damage is, is pretty good stuff. And yeah, honestly, I kind of wish we'd have t we'd been able to take Star of the Bottomless Pit there because it is so good for a run like this. Ooh, very glad we came back this way now. Very glad. We'll do that mini boss as well. See what they have in store for us. It could be something quite tasty. Hello, Envy. Can you give us red hearts for my flesh kids? I don't know what this this version of Envy drops if, if he drops an item. We don't have to find that out. We got another trinket there. I'll take that half out, thank you. Stonies and Grimaces target hostile. That's a really cool idea for an item. Stonies and Grimaces target hostile enemies. Intriguing. Intriguing. Also today, ooh -hoo -hoo, big excitement. We've got a man coming around to fix our washing machine. Because, oh my god, did it brick. And I mean brick. <laughs> I was in a meeting at work, like in the living room on, on the laptop. And then all of a sudden, I just hear this incredibly loud bang. Because the washing machine had like spooled up to such a speed that the drum in the middle had just like completely rocked itself loose. And it's got to the point now where it literally won't turn on. It did actually have quite a lot of washing stuck inside it for a while. And we couldn't get it out. But luckily, we managed to change a few settings and, uh, and get it out. But yeah, I was like, for fuck's sake. But yeah, I got to think about how good the um, the the Book of Lucifer is here, considering we've got all these bees and stuff. I do not like this, but luckily I've got Holy Mantle, so I don't have to worry even if I didn't make it. Ooh hoo hoo! Soul of Eden. Don't mind if I do. I also popped that Jack of Bombs, whatever it's called, that gives us more bombs on room clears. Yeah, Soul of Eden's going to be pretty good here as well. Don't know where I'm going to use it. As long as I use it on a place with at least two items, I'm pretty happy. I want to make sure we're getting decent value out of it sort of thing. Okay. Ow. Hot bombs, why not? Not good enough to uh, Soul of Eden. Well, not bad enough to Soul of Eden. Is more, more to the point. Okay, yeah, we, we've we've reached a pretty unbelievable r level with this run here. This run's very good. Hey, more luck is very nice too. We are doing very, very good damage. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll open this up, why not? We've got plenty of keys. Unfortunately, wasn't that useful, really, but hey ho. Where's our shop at as well? Where's our shop at? Good thing is, as well, if we do get Delirium, this book is very good on the Delirium floor. Okay. Hey, there you go. I think he's one off max level now. Only one item in there. We don't want a soul of Eden that. Yeah, we're at the point now where we're not getting too much damage from this, but even just having this amount of damage is very good. Golden bombs, thank you. Wasn't expecting that as a little bonus to us there, but I certainly will take it and be happy about it. Go, Flesh Kid. Oh wait, he must be max rank because he's not he's not taking the uh the hearts anymore. Good good fella, good good. Alright, see what you can do. Oh he splits into like multiple segments, interesting. I kind of forgot about that. I have seen him at that drink before, I just don't remember it very much. Box boy. Maybe that's why I'm getting so many half red hearts, you know. Maybe he acts as like a, a sort of um, little chad. Looking in the second secret room at the moment. There you go. Got to try and find it when you have extra vision, right? There's no point not. Double bombs, thank you. We need lost cork. That'd be good. Ooh, yes, please. Fill up all those rotten hearts, thank you. Good stuff. <laughs> I'm liking just having this absolute army of flies all the time for my rotten hearts. Especially when we've got holy mantle to protect all of our soul hearts, meaning that we're very unlikely to actually take damage on our rotten hearts at any point soon. So I think it's a good way of um, building up a lot of extra damage that isn't particularly risky for us. Especially, like I said, when the flies and stuff scale with our damage with the book. You can be a little bit of an annoying boy. We hot bombed you. Ah, lovely, you're dead. Bit of extra fire rate, lovely. Oh, that, that was a... What the hell? I swear I've picked that up before and it's been like 0 0.3. 1.15. It must be like based on your multiplier or something, but that gave us an insane boost to fire rate. Okay, so we're getting Bookworm here. That's nice. Um, Definitely not anything I want to take or swap. Still think Book of Lucifer's the best one. I could... Ooh, wait. I could Soul of Eden in that room, right? It would it would re-roll them into other things. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Soul of Eden works in there, so this is a good room for this. Indeed it did. We got Raw Liver, which is kind of... Eh. It's good HP, but it's not ideal. And we get Missing Page, which is pretty meh. And we get Bottomless Bag, which is pretty meh. So that wasn't great, but Soul of Eden is Soul of Eden. You've just got to roll with the punches. You've got to accept what you're given. And there's no better room to try it in than a room with three items, so it's not like we could have saved it for a better moment, really. Good old Midas Touch that we won't really use. Do you know what would be cool? An item that, like, applies... So, do you know how Cern Bond gives familiars, like, tier effects? I think that should be an item, but, like, one that's more all-encompassing. Like, do you know how, like... Locusts adopt, like, explosive locusts, uh, like it's a war, what they're called. They, um, ad adopt your bomb effect. Just basically more things like that where, like, my, my fruity plum adopts my tear effect, my ultra flesh kid adopts my, uh, on contact effects and stuff like that. It'd be strong, mind you, it'd be strong. Oh, well, see, will this guy adopt my hot bombs? I, I wanna just see. See, now that guy doesn't adopt my hot bombs. He should. He very much should. And it'd be cool to see an item where more things, more, more of your familiars adopted more of your effects. Cool. We've seen both secret rooms. We've basically seen everything we need to see this far, I think. We do have 60% chance of planetariums. Maybe we should go back and take a little look around. Room's slightly confusing me because of the darkness in there. Necro or two. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back and have a little look. We've got a lot of pills around, but at the minute, I'm just not interested in pills whatsoever. I don't think we need to take them on this run. 
I'm liking the firepower we have with their uh, bookworm on top of it. It's very nice. The triple shot photon coming out every now and again is quite strong. Oh boy. That's... Oh, ho, ho. That's very, very good. But it could... Do you know what? I'm going to take it. Because it could lock us out of Mega Satan. Potentially. But if it does, we'll just go Delirium. That's just unbelievably good for us. Basically, every single blue fly we get from all of our Rotten Hearts is going to have a chance to be a Locus of War, which will adopt our bomb effect, as I was just saying. Although, at the minute, I think my bees are filling up my roster, so I need to, like, let my bees die. There you go, look. A few Locus of War there. Good stuff. Yeah, very good trinket. Obviously, now we, we, we have put our um, Mega Satan chances in jeopardy, but I I think this run is strong enough to do Delirium right now, so... I can just go straight for Delirium. I will have to make it to um, Hush, though, but I think I can do that. Well, no, technically, I can go Dark Path and go Delirium. I forget about that. I can just give up some items and go that way. Your little fires there. Good stuff, so we'll take this just in case. Got perfection there. Unfortunately, we did get a devil deal here, so we'd need an angel deal on the next two floors for this to work, which is probably not going to happen, and it's why I should have taken the um, key piece earlier, but... And I think going straight for delirium here is not a bad, not a bad idea. Right, now I don't care about second secret room in this floor too much, we'll just beeline it to the boss if we can. It's a bit of, annoy bit of an annoyance that the bees seem to take precedent over the, the blue flies. I'm not getting as many blue flies per room because I have so many bees. And they can't be transformed. So maybe this wasn't as, as powerful of a, um, of a trade as I was expecting it would be. Which is a bit annoying, but hey her. We are still getting some locusts in there every now and again, which is nice. Imagine this on top of Star of the Bottomless Pit, on top of that, that'd be... My god, that'd be kind of crazy. Cool, just keep running away. Finding the actual room we need to go to instead of every single wrong way plausible. It's fine, it's fine. We need keys for the uh, hush floor as well, try and grab those when we can. Big room normally indicates the correct way. Hey, we found second secret room that also indicates the correct way, so feeling good about this. Yeah, I'm just producing, like, more bees than I can get rid of, just because of my fire rate. <gasps> Ooh, gives you a passive item duplication. Um, you will be haunted by an altar fiend when you get hit by him, get three broken hearts and remove the buff. Let's do it. I really like this as an idea. I really don't care about getting three broken hearts as well, so it's, it's kind of a win-win. I don't know if Holy Mantle protects you from uh, from getting hit by that guy. Because it does uh, on Dark Ezel, but... It was almost some bullshit there. This room is uh, pretty horrible. So, okay, as long as we keep moving, he won't be able to do much to us. Check this out. We did indeed get a passive item in there. We'll take that. The rest of them we don't care for. Yeah, the longer the floors, the more damage we get from this book as well. So, got to the point where we're doing pretty goddamn well for damage. Cool. Up to 8.16 with this fire rate, which is kind of insane. I would like to get at least one item duplication going on here. Going around the long way just to make sure he doesn't chase me.
didn't realise I had Gigabombs still. Slightly risky there, but it's fine. Okay, unfortunately we got another Devil Deal here, so not so great. I guess I'll, I'll take a little look in here at this point. Um, yeah, I'll take that. And bag of Bobbies isn't really something I need. Right, let's go. If we can get to hush with this dude alive still, that'd be fantastic. Whoa, I just spent my keys. Fuck's sake, I need my keys. Y'all boy is stupid. But yeah. A 15% chance to stun enemies is, uh, is pretty goddamn good for us here. Only thing we're going to have to deal with on the hush floor uh, um, is that on the hush floor, we're really not going to have a lot of damage. So we're only going to get to use our buff once. More keys, please. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're not going to get a whole lot of use out of that, which is unfortunate. Thank you for the keys. And again with the keys. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're only, we're gonna need to make sure we have a book charge ready when we get to uh, the hush floor. Don't don't like this. Didn't mean to giga bomb that for fuck's sake. Keep forgetting I have those. I haven't used all the bombs this run, so I've still got another giga bomb left. Good. Empty. We, we really don't care for either of these. That's a bit of a shame. Unfortunately, we also went the wrong way too, which I'm not very happy about. And we've got two thin rooms that we uh, can approach, which are very bad for this dude following us. Okay, luckily he didn't manage to actually get a hit off on us there. Quite a few champions over here. Can you not be, like, over the top of all the rocks, please? This is very frustrating. Um, why aren't you dying? Is there something else alive in here? Oh, the fucking angel counts as an enemy, so we got to bomb out of this room. Oh, for God's sake, I have to use a gigabomb to do that. It works, it's fine. Not ideal. Not ideal. But at least we are able to bomb out of that room. Right, we'll leave our charge at this point for our active. God damn it, can we go the right way just once, please? We're gonna waste all of our goddamn bombs. This isn't even the right way either, dude. This game sometimes, I swear. All of that faffing around and wanting the goddamn right way. Okay. Quickly check this out. Interesting, but not what I'm going to go for right now. Right, I'm probably going to take some damage here. I just kind of have to accept it. Oh no, okay. That was pretty good. Right, check out the devil deal real quick. We've got plenty of time to check it out. Not what I wanted, but then again, lump of coal would not be bad. That's also not bad either. Some actual base damage up is good. Um, and then we're going into the hush floor. Down we go. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Right, so do that. Battery charge is great for us here. Doubles active item charge from clearing rooms drains one charge every 15 seconds. That seems pretty good. 
Well, we got magic mush. That's good stuff. And then we've got uh, two items that I realistically don't care for. We've got Leah. Again, items I'm not big into here. A lot of active items. So this wasn't super useful. That's annoying. That, that, however, is very useful. Is that going to give us an actual fire it up? Oh my god, it does. This, if this gives us a fire it up, then I'm, I'm going to be, this is going to be insane. Oh my lord, it does. Oh, for fuck's sake, I walked right into him. That was so stupid. I wasn't paying attention. It's fine, it's fine. It was a bit dumb as all. Right. Let's do this thing. Right, these Naga fires can hurt us, so we do have to be a little careful around them. But they do block shots and stuff, so they're pretty good. The fire rate, man. Also, it seems like we have like some slight herming going on or something. Right, Flesh Kid, I'm going to need you to just get on this guy's booty, like, right now. Right, why is, he, why is it so hard for them to, like, latch on to? Hush, there you go. I think the head just randomly bimbles around the room, so we're not going to get much out of the head. Right, every time he goes underground, though, it, like, messes him up. But yeah, damage is pretty good now. Yeah, doubles are active charge with, um, with this, this new, uh, thing where we lose an active charge for 15 seconds. I think, actually, it's going to be really good. As long as we can clear rooms quicker than, like, sort of one every few seconds, which I think we will be able to. We'll be able to get quite a lot of charges, I think. Seems like an interesting idea for an item overall. Oh, dude, stop going underground. Every time you go underground, my dude loses tracking. It's very annoying. I've got to, like... Sort of walk right back over you to get him back on again. Look at this, the body's like right on him and it won't latch. Stupid. He goes underground again because he thinks he's cool. Latch onto him, you fuck! Why do I have such trouble with this? It's really annoying. Target him. He must not be, like, classed as a normal, like, enemy entity or something. Right. Good stuff. Right, okay. To Delirium we go. Okay. Just trying my best to use my book as much as I can here. Oh, and then you give me a room that's just pure shit like this. Just absolutely a waste of time. How am I meant to get through here? Okay, there you go. Apparently I had a blue key. It's fine. Oh, another one of these rooms. Go away. No one in the history of ever has ever wanted to fight this fucking enemy. Just hurry up. My god. What a waste of time. Okay, we've managed to use that book a lot here, so this is this was clearly the right idea. A double room just gives us an instant full charge. That's so nice. I don't even think I've seen it take away a charge yet. I'm going to do all my rooms first to get as much damage as I possibly can. Still getting good damage per usage at the minute. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm gonna say I want to do all my basic rooms first. What? Just which joker? Which which guy was like, yeah, you know those blue blocks? I'm just gonna use them fucking everywhere. Calm your tits, please. Delirium is going to get absolutely vaporized. 10 fire rate and 18 damage so far. And it looks like we're probably going to get up to 20 pretty easily here. Right, we are going to probably lose a charge on the way back over here. Luckily we have half decent speed now so we can sprint over there. But I, I imagine we'll le at least lose air charge. I don't know if we lose two or if we just lose one. I think we just lose one. Or maybe not. Maybe we won't lose one. Nope, we didn't. <laughs> this item's amazing. If your clear speed's bad, it's not it's not great. But when your clear speed's this good, it's absolutely amazing. Especially with an item like this that has like stacking effects and it's you want to use it as much as humanly possible. But with anything with a two room charges, it, it, it it's fantastic. Stay back, heathens. Hold the fort down. Oh my god. Already, already up to 21.4 damage. What would we start the floor on? Like 8? <laughs> Got a bit of waiting to do here. Ah, oh, that little bomb just... How dare you. Little bomb just screwed me over. Give me that heart. Thank you. Okay, well, we're at the point now where pretty much everything's a boss. So let's try and do some bosses. Unfortunately, we've got a pretty hard boss right off the bat. Good. Into your ghosty form. Easy. We always seem to get Baron Fly on this floor. Oh, dude. I forgot we have the item that resets all the rooms. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Our damage. Oh, boy, our damage. Yeah, we have that Gilmora thing, whatever it's called, where every time we beat a boss, it resets the entire floor. <laughs> so technically, I don't, we don't need to, but technically we could get just ludicrous amounts of damage. We could do every single room after every single boss. I don't know how easy it is to do the rooms. I'm going to do a good few though. I purposely left that back. That boss room over there, because I think it's delirium. I'm gonna head back over to these ones and do these ones instead now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These guys are getting mullered. Absolutely mullered. Oh, a charge key. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I've got to redo this room though. That's not fun. Where's the Where's the goddamn blue key? Okay, having to redo this room, I think, has broken it. Hmm. I can't even fly over these things, so what do I do here? I literally can't get through these rooms. Yet another reason why those things are stupid.
Get us off treasure map. Yeah, so we got this room here that we Oh wait, no, okay. If we pass through this way we can we can sort of cheese it. Just completing the room's gonna be a bitch is all. Wait, is it completing the room even possible? Oh wait, does debug 10 even work? Okay, no, no, it does good. Okay. Cool, I can get round them this way. That's something at least. Oh, hello, little shop thing. Tech module would be damage down, but fire a... We'll give that a go. It could be a... No, oh, it was like... A... It didn't give us any damage down. The Book of Lucifer doesn't count. That's pretty beautiful. My game lags every single time I kill a boss at this point because it has to reset so many rooms. Right. Keep this charade going. Oh, again with this bullshit. Just throw your little green boys and get over it. Why you gotta take so long? Just like, oh, you had momentum in your room? Say goodbye to that momentum. It's an enemy that dies in one hit is gonna make you wait 20 seconds to kill him. More luck upgrades for more fires, don't mind if I do. Oh my god. So it, it actually was, it actually did end up being the boss that I left, so happy days. Well, this was pretty wild. Oh, I've got to do this room again. Oh, just get it over with, my guy. I don't think I've seen a single charge drain, by the way, from this item. I don't know if it's bugged, but, or I'm just getting charges too quickly, but. It doesn't seem to have drained even once. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't go through this way. Oh, no, wait. Technically, we can. Wait, what? The wall's still there, even though I've d just got rid of it. The wall's still there. That's fun. Managed to get rid of most of my rotten hearts, which is probably a good thing at this point. I like that the room drops always the same as well. Ooh, at this point, do we just take that? We're not going to be creating too many blue flies now, are we? Just bombing myself to uh, get rid of these rotten hearts so I can take some real hearts. When they appear for us. There you go. Look. It's a lot safer for us. Alright, we've made our way around. Back, back, back again. There was a charge key back there as well, I forgot about. Give me that. To 35 damage. Man, this book. This book. Oh, fire rate for one room? Or insane damage for the entire floor on a floor that's this long. That you can constantly reset as much as you want. Ooh, what will it be? What will it be? Ooh, the world. So good for us. Uh, 
I went the wrong way here. I'm going to go up this way. Back again. Little pill, little pill, I don't think I need you. The music actually had to reset there, we've been on this floor so long. Apparently still more in this room. Bitch where? Oh no, it's open, it's open, it's good. Okay. Right, last boss, let's go. Hey Delirium. I didn't need to decimate you this much, but trust me, I have fun doing it. My god. Turn to your base form, I want to see how fast you actually die. No boss armor. Do it, coward. I know you wouldn't. He likes turning into Gerdy at the moment. Little, little Gerdy Jr. Oh no, we took damage. What are we ever going to do? Right, anyways, that was the easiest Delirium fight of my life. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Unfortunately, no Mega Satan, but I think it was worth it just to witness that. Just whatever that was. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Boom.